Hey everybody, this is Kevin Potter at Potter USA and today I'm going to show how to put a ring top on a ring. So what this is, I've made a video earlier on and it showed how to take one of our die struck ring blanks and turn it into a ring. And this one just happens to be an Art Nouveau piece from the early 1900s and this one here is I, I really like this one, it's my favorite. It's called, we call her Maureen, <laughs> but it's, it's a, uh, it's, it's a Art Nouveau woman with hair flowing around and it's probably from the early 1900s. And I'm going to show you how to take a stamping from the die and then solder it to the top of your ring. Okay, for the top of this ring, what we're gonna use is a piece of, well, since it's the top of a ring, we're gonna use a fairly thick piece of silver. This is probably, I think this might be 16 gauge. Um, you could be, get away with 18 gauge, no problem. It'll be just fine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk on over to the hydraulic press and we are going to press this into the die. Okay, so once you've got your stamping done, what you're gonna do, you're gonna break out a saw. I don't care what kind of saw you use, but what you want is a saw where the blade doesn't fall out, which is pretty handy. So here we go. On our website, we have, well, I think there's over 2,000 different stampings or dies to choose from, but we, I know we have hundreds of these ring tops. Uh, I, I love them, so I've collected literally hundreds of them. I probably have thousands, actually. So what you're gonna do is, you, we're gonna fit this to the top of this ring, and it, it, it really fits perfect. It's like it was made for it. My ring is a little bit curved when I, uh, some of them I've been able to keep them nice and flat when I bent the shank around. This one, I don't know, it didn't work out. So it's a little bit curved, but that's okay because I'm going to file this to fit the top. Once we get it to fit really nice, then we're gonna solder it on. The way I've always done things is I will set it on here just like this and then I will flow solder around it. Uh, and then I'll push it around if it gets crooked. What we're gonna do, gonna get some flux. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. I'm just gonna coat the piece. So when I heat this up, I'm gonna heat it up very slowly. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So what I wanna do is I wanna boil the water off in the flux so that it doesn't just shoot my part all over the place. We're gonna use high solder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat the bottom of this thing up first. You're gonna try not to flow. You're gonna use small pieces of solder. If you use big globs of solder, you could accidentally flow your solder into all the detail. I think we're good. All right, so. Once you have completely soldered the top of your ring, it's time to toss it in the pickle. And I'm going to take my file, I'm going to file down the solder lumps. And I'm going to get the edge of this bezel really crisp, or the edge of the, the image. That's pretty good. I'm going to use a rubber wheel just to go around my top edge. So the next step, we're going to use some liver of sulfur and we're going to darken the entire ring so that you can see all the detail. 
So as you've seen, I'm not high polishing this thing. We're gonna get it blackened first. Want me to dump that out? So what we've got now is it's all black. The whole ring is completely black. We're gonna use some of this polish, metal polish, nothing special. Put a little bit on the rag and this is gonna buff off the high spots and leave the, the low areas black. You can see how all the black brings up all the detail. When it's all silver, it's hard to tell. If, uh, if you want to make a ring like this, all the components are available on our website. Thanks for watching.